Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD to HTML and CSS Series 1, Lesson 7. And in this video, I want to go through what a basic CSS reset entails. <laughs> Alright then gang, so as you can see, I'm here in the finished HTML. Um, and what I want to do first of all before we start messing with any CSS reset is link up a CSS file to this document. Now we don't have one created at the minute but what I'm going to do is right click in this pane over here I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it style.css that's going to be empty as default. Now if we jump back over to the index we need to link to that CSS file in the head. So the way we do that is by using our link tag and the href is going to be uh, style.css just right here and then we need the rel attribute and then the type equals text slash CSS alright so that's linked up right now so if we just click save what I'm gonna do is press this little uh, lightning bolt icon right here. I've got a browser open here and what this is going to do is open up a live preview for me. So I'll click that and now when this loads up, as I make changes in this code or in the style code, this is going to update automatically so I can see it on the fly which is pretty cool. So as you can see at the minute all we've got is these basic default browser styles, bit of padding or margin on the header tags, uh, underlined links, that kind of thing. Now what I want to do is use a simple CSS reset to get rid of these default styles. I always like to do that. Even though this is just a one page simple design, I'm still going to use it because I want to show you guys what I do for most of my projects. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to head over to HTML5 Doctor. Alright guys, so here I am at html5doctor.com forward slash html5 reset style sheet. I'll pop the link to this page in the description down below and basically it's a page which just has the code to a simple CSS reset on it. Now mainly what I like is this bit right here which takes away the padding and margin of all these elements right here that we get by default in uh, browsers. So that's really cool, along with a couple of other things that are also pretty good like the uh, the list down none for all unordered lists and a couple of other things. I'm not going to go through this in any depth because it would take me a while to do that. You can have a look at this if you like in your own time. But uh, essentially it just kind of resets those default browser styles back to a more simple baseline so then we can customise it a lot easier ourselves. So what I'm going to do is just highlight all of this and I'm going to copy it. Then I'm going to go back to the code and I'm going to paste this into our styles.css. Alright then guys, so here we are, styles.css, and I'm just going to paste this code into here on the left. Now watch what happens on the right in a minute when I do this. So I'll paste there. Now you can see on the right straight away, everything's kind of jumped up a little bit. That's because all of this padding and margin has been taken away. Okay, so it's kind of squashed up and it's stripped a lot of those default browser styles. So it's going to be loads easier now for us when we go in and start styling this thing up. All right, we're not going to have to conflict with those default browser styles. So that's all I wanted to show you in this lesson. Now we're in a good place to start cracking on with the CSS and making this website look good, which is what we're going to do in the next tutorial. So if you have any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to subscribe, share and like, and I'll see you in the next video.